Hey, babe. Hey. So we got some more glass from our buddy William in Calgary. Willie's glass. <laughs> Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> so because I already have the top sorted out with those random pieces, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to leave that as I designed it. Mm -hmm. And then put the new stuff along the bottom? Yeah, so the sizes we've got will work. Two panels will work to do this part. 38. Yeah, they're 37, so it'll totally work for, it'll cover from here down mm -hmm. on both sides. I do have more pieces that I can work with on the back side, but you got to think we're going to be coming in and out here the most. So you want this to look nice, but we also want to maintain a view over there, right? Mm -hmm. So what I can do is piece together the rest of the pieces of glass on SketchUp. Okay. Okay. And we're going to need some more wood. I love you. I love you too. So a couple of eagles were making noise in the tree. We didn't know what it was, but they got a duck and they dropped it. But now they're circling, looking. Well, I can. Yeah, here he is. Here's one of them coming to back to try and find it. That's a bald eagle and there's a golden eagle as well. They're coming back looking for them. What? Are they? They're so smart. It's crazy. Were they in the tree or what? Like that? Yeah, like their wingspan is over six feet. It's pretty intense. All right, now we have this big piece of glass for, it's gonna go on the roof, right babe? Yep. We got two this size. Okay. We've got two this size and lots of grime on it, but it'll clean up. I'll clean it, babe. Squeaky clean. So we added in just a vertical so we could add our double sided tape. So we'll peel that off in a sec, but we just gotta put on. One more piece over here, and Michelle is going to learn how to install some glass. Mm. It's going to stick. No, don't do it. Don't do it on that side. Mm. You take the tack away. Uh -oh. Push it back up. Use it right. Okay. So I'll do this one and then you can do the next one, okay? I just want to show you. Okay. So you grab it and you flip the bottom in first. Mm -hmm. And you line up the corner with the corner of the tape. Mm -hmm. Or the tape. Mm -hmm. And then just give it a push. Nice measuring. I scribed it, man. Mm -hmm. And then you can use your knee. Scribed it? Are you pushing really hard? 
Yeah, as hard as I can. See how you can see how it. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not even sticking up here. It's okay. We're going to cover it with some wood to help hold it. Okay. One down, 90 more to go. Really? Cover your ears. <laughs> Did I explain it well enough? Yes, you did. I did? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I don't. I know. Mm. From the bottom? Yeah, line up the bo bottom two corners. Make sure they're good and then you can push it in. Oh gosh, this is scary. Why is it scary? I don't know. Okay, here goes nothing. Wonder if it's wet under there. No, it's uh, the rough saw on it doesn't bond as well too. Okay. But that's why I have the gap, right? So the gap is where I can screw wood into. Yeah. Which will hold it. It's not going to fall off. Okay. I think I did it. Look at you, Misha the glazer. Because I scribed it, we're not going to be perfectly level, but no one will know, unless you put that in the video, then everyone will know, right? Mm -hmm. Chickens. Ooh, chickens. What are you doing in there, Glendy? Having a dirty dirt bath? Okay. 
you like it? I love it. back inside after a long day of cleaning glass. James was not lying when he said there was a lot of glass to clean. We literally spent the entire day outside uh, cleaning glass for the greenhouse. But I wanted to show you what I'm doing inside for my plants because downstairs in our little grow room is getting a little overcrowded and I noticed that a couple of my pepper plants were looking a little sad. So did a little bit of research and turns out they, there's two things they need to be one they need to be hardened off which means they just need a little bit of space uh, before they go out to the greenhouse they need potentially some different light some more airflow and just more room between the plants so let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what I got okay so I brought up my chards peppers zucchini kale and broccoli here they are. Um, James brought up a table for me. So this is literally just in our living room. This window gets some really nice, uh, it's where the sun goes down. It's happening right now actually. So it gets some nice afternoon sun and they look pretty happy. Uh, let's try to see what I, let's show you what I was talking about with the pepper plant. So here's one, it's just got, it's just looking a little sad. Um, there was another one that had some little white specks on it that seems to have gone away That one down there But yeah, I just wanted to give them a little bit more space to move and groove and Get them ready for some different Places to live because they're gonna go into the greenhouse, which will be quite a big shock for them um, I'm sure they'll be happy there, but yeah, see this guy's a little wilty Oh, it probably needs a little bit of water so we'll see how they do here but yeah this is kind of like hardening what gardeners call hardening off you can do some research on that but it is important to give them a little bit of different um, circumstances before you go right from growing under lights indoors to outdoors A little update on my sprouting onions video that I did about a week ago. Um, so sprouts are getting huge, which is awesome. You can see them, they've like doubled in size. Um, but something that I'm noticing is they're kind of off gassing. Like I keep thinking that I smell um, gas, like if you're, you left your oven on or something or your stove. Um, but I think that's normal. When you get close to them, they, they smell very oniony, but a little off gassy. So don't know if that's normal, but sprouts are doing good. Pretty soon I'll be able to put them outside in some dirt. But yeah, just a little update on those. 